Alright, well, here we are. Uh, one day, three days after I picked some of the items from my uh, garden, I went out there and I see these items here. I mean, I think I can get this one all in the shot. This is not a real big one, but it is pretty. All the plants look perfectly healthy. The, 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 they're green. They're, um, uh, they're, they're perfect. And I got all this, 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 this a little bit of stuff on there from the garden. But look at this. This is this is just perfect. You cook that, some onions, garlic, sauteed uh, with, with the right ingredients. Oh my God! You can make a soup out of these. And then these these tomatoes, they they, they were good. But this is right here. They ain't number a little bit of uh, stuff on it. But these these I, I've eaten these. They're really good, um, folks. I, I can't go back to gardening the way I used to back in the day. I like Paul Goucher's the uh, back to eating style garden. Because, I mean, it's just perfect. I mean, I hurt my foot like I showed you earlier. This right here, that's just some dirt on there. Uh, these are not completely ripe because I didn't want to pick them ripe. I wanted to pick them early because I was out there and I said, with my foot the way it is, I can't get back out there. So these were ripening up perfectly in the house. And um, look at this. I mean, these are, these are tender, uh, almost sweet-like. Um, let me see what we got here. Uh, let's see. These are just perfect. And this tomato here. I also have uh, some okra growing out. Put it like this. I want to say this, you know, publicly. Thank you, Mr. Paul Goucher, for sharing that because you didn't have to. Um, uh, back to eating is the way to go for me. And I'm not doing any commercial for anybody. I'm just saying that's just the truth. This stuff works. Um, everything, everything is growing perfectly. The plants, the trees. A beautifully colored green um, the watermelons I got outside they look great I mean they're perfect and when I had to leave my garden after I got hurt and and, and uh, I had to leave my garden for, for uh, two weeks I didn't water or feed or anything and 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 let's, let's talk a little bit about feeding my garden automatically feeds itself like mr. Paul Gouch said once those wood chips start to break down they start uh, feeding your plants automatically and then they stay moist for so long like we had rain about two nights ago I'm not worried about my plants needing water I mean it's amazing to now the fall will come I'll hit it again with some more wood chips because they are going down some um, they were f uh, six inches deep in some areas and five and a half in others um, but they gone down some of them like two inches deep in other areas or I think one was an inch and a half but um, wow I mean this is this is and all this food here my god man mm -hmm. I put that was hard work putting those wood chips in but once I got them in I'm just reaping the rewards and like mr. Paul Goucher said the first year uh, it's gonna be okay the first year you, you'll get by the second year after I mean they, they completely inoculate that whole ground you're gonna see this is heavy this is a heavy piece of fruit and um, and I went out there and I carried this whole basket. I went out there and picked his 20 pounds of food and it cost me zero dollars. Also, to speed up the process, what I did, and I'm going to tell my secret what I did. The weeds that grow in certain parts of my yard, I picked the weeds, I picked the grass clippings, I picked different types of weeds. I put them in water and I set them for two and a half weeks and I let them rot. And when they rot, I take the mixture put it in a gallon jug I put one part of the mixture and ten parts water and I use rain water cuz cuz I mean since I made the water system I don't even pay to water my garden anymore I mean I got so smart about what I'm doing and I want all of you to do the same thing that's why I do this morning gardening show because uh, I do it because I say well people gotta learn and there's nobody trying to show you the right thing they keep trying to get you to buy stuff they keep trying to do one guy like I said they're selling rock dust look at this right here do this look like I need rock dust? It don't. I had to pour soil and I put them wood chips in. Look what I'm growing. Look what I'm growing. Look what I'm growing. And I, and and look, I haven't spent no money in fertilizer this year. Look what I'm growing. The, the problem I'm having right now, and to be quite frank, honest with you, is keeping up with all the stuff growing in my yard. And uh, my trees are only two years old. It's not that much right now. But look at that. That's a peach from my tree. That's a peach. And all of them look like that. This is a perfectly beautiful, soft uh, peach. But this is the first year, so the, the next year it's going to get—they're going to get better and better and better and better and better. 
And this is from my Red Haven uh, peach tree. I mean, two years old and it is producing peaches. And next year, if it's three years old, they're producing. Uh, they're going to produce more. My ch my cherry trees are loaded down with wood chips all around them. Uh, they look perfectly beautiful. They're tall. My neighbors are um, talking about my trees. They said, "How do those trees grow that quick?" And I got those trees. This is how you do it, folks. Listen, listen. Somebody out there, listen up. This is how I got those trees. I paid six dollars per tree. So I went to a place called online called uh, the um, uh, it's called the USA Seed Store, or some people call it Summerstone Nursery. They're the same company, SummerstoneNursery.com. And I bought the trees for six dollars a piece. And when I put them in the ground, I, I, I was saying to myself, I don't know how to grow these trees, but I, I read everything and looked at the videos and got information. And then next thing I know, I was on. It was it was happening. I, I had I had it working out. And so, folks, I'm saying the trees. I'm not. Walmart had the same trees, but they well, no, they had uh, semi dwarf. I, I wanted dwarf uh, trees. You know, that only get about eight, nine, ten feet tall, something like that. You know, about four or six feet spread. And that's what I wanted. So I found them online. And everybody else online wanted $28, uh, $30 a piece. Now I went to uh, summersonesnursery.com uh, and I got the, the trees for um, uh, $6 a piece. And plus they warranty the trees. If anything happened to them, you know, send the tree back to them and all that. And they'll send you a fresh tree. But um, folks, my only problem now is, is eating all this food and giving it away because... I mean, I'll go back out there tomorrow. There's a whole bunch of stuff out there. Collard greens, watermelons are out there. Uh, uh, the strawberry plants came up pretty good from them wood chips. I'm going to get a whole bunch of uh, strawberries next year. My um, raspberries are doing outstanding. My um, blackberries. I mean, we was eating buckets of blackberries. And think about it. I only paid $2.70 for the plant. And when it started growing, I broke off pieces. And, and now i got 14 plants out there producing. Well, 15 plants out there producing. And and uh, and I bought one raspberry plant from Walmart. That was uh that was a little pricey. That was about seven dollars. I bought that. Now I got about fifteen or sixteen uh, raspberry uh, bushes out there, and they producing like crazy when when the spring comes in. Now I got eight. Um, same company. I went to them and got um, blueberries. I got every type of blueberry I could possibly lay my hands when they grow well in this in this in this uh, environment. So I'm gonna go, folks, because. Um, look at all this. I got to find a place to get all this in the refrigerator. I got a ton of it in there from last week picking and now this week picking. I got to get on the phone and call some people, uh, friends of mine, to see can I give some of this stuff away. Um, so that's what I got to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in again. And I appreciate all of you, uh, you know, for leaving your comments and also for subscribing. I do appreciate that. Uh, this is the Morning Gardener Show. Man, I'm one happy rabbit. Look at this. And, uh, just just try it, folks. Wood chips are free. Get them from your local tree cutting companies. Have them dump them in the fall. Give a call to them. Say, yeah, dump it. I dumped 20,000 pounds. That's what got me started. Uh, cause that, that's what my yard needed. And this time around, I'm going to just have about 10,000 pounds uh, dumped. And then once I get that done, I'm going to cover it back over, kind of build it up a little bit more. And, um, you know, and I'm going to keep on moving, doing what I got to do because this economy is crazy. And I'm eating good. Take care now. I apologize for cutting in on this video, but I had to. When I look at all this food here, and then I look at the people who put these videos up, and they won't tell you how they grow their food. They just keep trying to sell you things. I do not buy fertilizer. I do not use pesticides. Look at this Look at this produce right here. You don't see bugs eating this all up, and I'm not spraying anything on it. Um, it's just growing out there, and it's growing so healthy that the bugs can't attack this food. They can't do anything to this food. I mean, this food is just incredible, and it has the absolute best taste that I've ever eaten from my garden before. Folks, listen, when you see videos out there that don't tell you what they're doing on how they grow their food, just keep on moving on to the next video. Don't keep spending your money and wasting your money. Thank you.